I listened and attended numerous times with the Dedan uh, Iranian uh, advisory committee tour at Dalian Sanate. I have a chance to meet with them and have a chance to meet with the NAPO uh, EPA and then also with the USMPA, now with the NAPO Nation Trustee 1 and 2, and then uh, recently believe that we have additional funding to take care of our additional abandoned mines. One, one of the comments that I wanted to make is the, uh, there's mines out there, we'll, we'll, we'll be done, we'll be done this, so, a orphan is here, so, I am now, with the uh, Blue Gap chapter. As uh, any time we mention Blue Gap country, they, they always have uh, a the uh, discussion in the radio. It, you always think about uh, Claim 2080, one of the most dangerous, hottest, most uh, radiated site there. A quote uh, We asked the uh, when they left the, <laughs> they abandoned his mind, and while the U.S. is investigating who was responsible for all his mind, of course, they keep looking and they finally found a couple of them, <laughs> and uh, I'm glad they found a company that did the claim to be eight. And there are no numerous boys in Okinawa, so hey, those are orphans that are left behind them. So they're continually investigating. I don't know how long it took. And I keep telling them, you guys need to stop investigating and put some funding in and add it to this uh, uh, cleanup. So if you actually work with the uh, uranium people that are working on the uh, remediation, I didn't know if I was in Atika, with the uh, evaluation and engineering, there's when you work with the government, you have to think about the uh, federal uh, uh, CFR. Echo, I need to make this step, step, step. The major job, Bob O'Connor. And we keep telling them, why can't we just get some of them just clean the darn thing up? It is just a big And there's, when that nation prepares, a, a plan to be uh, or plans for mediation plan. They send it to the EPA. Now the EPA, then they use it, and then they go back and forth and comment. And after that, they send it to the USMPA. And the USMPA and the EPA exchange those comments again. How long does that take? It's still going on. So we need to get this going. And the most important thing is that. People that are affected by and I saw the You and every one of them need to be sitting at the table discussing this issue and clean up. Even if I saw the problem, if you don't, a call, we need to devise the plan, policy, make sure you include the local people. Sit at the table talking with the USCPA, WPA, the trustee. How is the best way to do it? So, I'm I'm from Chile Agency. You will be in Chile public hearing on next week on Friday. So we will be there and we will submit written uh, reports. So I'm just here to see how the public hearing is going to be conducted. So uh, if you devise a policy, Draft policy, a law, whatever that's going to sell out of this public hearing. And we would like to also do sponsor, put on another public hearing so we can comment on those. Not at the, uh, not at the, we drop the legislation for that five, five uh, days, period, eight on that. Another public hearing like this is very helpful. And we can all take a look at that and make our own comments build policies. So our comments are very, these people of comments are very important. And uh, to those words, that will come. I have people from 
look at Dutch sheep, you will hear from them next week on Friday night. And they're also in the same position as the people. Kita was in the end, yet he got involved in the stock. So, Mechias, for allowing me to speak, and then I will expect me to change the period again. Oh, that morning, I'll have to be there. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And then the staff also, and then everybody else here helping you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you. We'll be uh, going down. Uh, we'll go ahead and have uh, the, the colleagues who came in and uh, learned to introduce themselves. Uh, I have also. Shisha Asia Lake Soul, Lake Hose Kaled Nasha, Nada, the Nana Show, the Tahi Basha Street, Hershey, the Shisha, the Chichi, the Shana. This is my uh, home, my home chapter, probably. I also represent Hanish Ki, Jodh's standing up, no dissenting. Uh, I brought a big so I apologize for my tardiness, it's coming from my youth, so it is. So I thought, thank you. Yeah, then, uh, can I get you to buy a, uh, 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 Central agency, I know I go slow, sometimes I can come to stop. Women on Tachi Puga, Salami Kaka, Nazi, and many friends. Our resources are all in the project for Sata. She was a kid and she was there. They're not easy, they're not in touch. Ah, there's no Chaka Canyon, public BIA, the most comfortable project. Thank you. 
just to tell you why I'm here. But in this process that they're moving 
federal APA has its collaboration with the federal APA. When you get to the point of where these mines, these sites, are going to have equipment going in there and start picking up this waste, there will be another process where they must go to the communities. Now we want to inform the community what's going on and to get community input, just like today. That will happen at least one more time, hopefully more than that. The reason I'm bringing it up, I'm speaking not so much to the concept of this, but to the audience. When you come upon those hearings, and, and if you're so inclined, and if you're passionate about it, that would be the time to say, we don't want to cover this waste here. We want it to be picked up and taken away. And they must listen to you. They have to listen to you. And they have to consider it with the mitigation that they have in the Middle East. That would be the people's wishes as part of the program built into the EPA's process. Now, on behalf of Any kind of mining is what you have to do. And then you have to do it. 
That's why there's still holes in the ground. And we heard him talk about this in the rain yesterday. He used to play in those mine shafts. Play in the piles of waste. We didn't know what he told us. And we got sick. We can prevent that in the future. There's not much we can do about the past. But it's going to take leadership. Leadership on behalf of the Navajo Nation. To deal with these federal people, federal agencies, all the way to the White House. And not just describe how much is hurting us and what we can help us, but to demand that you help us. Because we created this. Some really nice laboratories. 
with the biology lab, the chemistry lab, which was very state of the art uh, labs that we developed. We have a biology degree that we, we offer, and uh, it's designed to prepare students to go to the to medical school or to veterinary school. And uh, that biology degree was ranked top 12 most affordable biology degree in the United States. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really amazing how we're able to develop certain programs. And we also offer engineering degrees, electrical engineering and industrial engineering, which is accredited by APEC. APEC is really hard to get, but it's nice to have. Because our students who graduate from APEC school, they can be hired by Boeing and other companies like Honeywell, uh, the National Laboratories. They only hire people if you're a graduate from APEC school and into you is an APEC school. The only one of all the tribal colleges. Um, so I just wanted to mention that. Um, the other thing I just wanted to mention is uh, we have a movie hosting the lobby meeting here on the 26th. And uh, we want to invite any gallery that day if you want to have breakfast. We'll host breakfast and then we'll, we'll do a tour after uh, 8.30 to 9.30 and show you some of the wonderful things that we are doing. One thing I want to show you is that we have a uh, advanced manufacturing laboratory here. We, uh, we just purchased a, uh, a 3D metal printer and they cost $850,000. We're finally able to get one of those and that machine um, does wonders. And uh, we are the only higher education institution in New Mexico to have one of those machines. So now we get a call from the University of New Mexico or New Mexico State saying, how did you guys get it? And uh, what was it? You know, where did you get it? That kind of thing. So that is the, the work of the future. And that's, we're building that kind of opportunities here. So I just want to welcome everyone. If you have a young lady, and uh, well, it's good to see some of our, our leaders, as well, our former uh, president, Mr. Zoff, former speaker, also here, former gallery, Perry. So yeah, thank you very much. Um, and we're really happy that, that we're hosting this. You guys are right on target. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for giving us time. You guys, thank you, Dr. Guy. Let's give him a round of applause. Oh, yeah. Moving on, next speaker, Che, Honorable Peter Sousa, former president of the Navajo Nation.
already cleaned up this year. That's the be number one. Two guys from our bed. But I didn't know what I needed. But the day needs to be not deep for us to create us. Where the things go out of the sun, the things they know. Chuck, all good things they have heard in the lectures. I told them that they are. Anyway, April car has so bad as what they need. They need. I was a lot of things on Sunday evening. Sunday evening, they said that all Tuesday evening, they did so. Your radio is doing this for us. They know it. They won't listen. They won't listen. But here's what you got to say. You know about the virus. Hat ishi atani gatso na khayito. At 100 dollars what you got in the United States, we give one that. They never talk about the God, and they don't know what it is. Better or tizigi, better or tizigi, to konsanetu e de exista. Ako pinlakana wili e opa hapso se kha. They are so afraid because of the epidemic and the outbreak.
a place of all you need in the energy is going to give it to the corporations. Ah, that corporation, United Nuclear Italia, this is Yanato of Nets. This is Yanato of Nets. So this history is going to repeat because in the present the present uh, leader of the nation in America, but what you do to I believe it was something like 35 billion dollars. And he wants to activate that again, try to find some, some more uranium. I could put that in the stage, uranium or the and eat so much that. Bear don't so bear as never. Billash lai. Nasana has gone in, Sabi hit it up. As kiss it should I your own back in it say. Billash lai eat or stiff. A bomb so you got to really think about what's coming ahead. This is the next, I'm not at the need of this. Share your reading, she's got a ship where a care has to be about gay hope. Oh, I need a business to choose that all state. Not that it's in it, that it's in it again. Not that it's not the one thing. That's the danger. That's the danger, and you need to be aware of that. Akako Shwasi's deep. She says, you know, 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 you they're caring people. They worry about their people. A coco has shown what I'm a hundred stomachs in that old lady. Since that any bit the doors need to pass it. Oh, oh, back on the table, don't be here to go, 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 don't like that Zika. The love of needleness. So you gotta make that noise consistently with many of these politicians who want your vote. I said, vote she can be dedicated at innocent double dog needleness. Of course, you are saying, hey, 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 the ship will go. But this is some of the only things in the air. I hear accident. I don't think that I should say, I don't have a comment at our concert. I'm sending it in the hill here. The half children in the hill, the design in the house, the big book of nature. I put it here, don't join me in that. I feel it's not that. Thank you.
all these years still today ahead. And even today, what he says rings true. Um, earlier, I had I had some people who pass out the now uh, that we're doing the newsletter, a film about um, four stories of water, and the McKinley um, collaborative with Anthony. We did a study on the um, uranium mining, uranium outcomes around the Church Rock area and our relatives that participated in that health impact assessment. Made recommendations out of that, out of that study, the Redwater Pond community members that are here today. It's really important. The health impact assessment is almost like Christmas Eve, or looking um, at the starway. It analyzes, it diagnoses the issues that are important to the community. It's community-based science, and out of that health impact assessment, there were some recommendations. So right now we're working on having the McKinley County Commissioners create a task force because we need health studies, as you heard throughout many of the testimonies probably yesterday and today. And it's, it's true, a lot of the issues that are among our people throughout this country, our Lakota relatives, our Cherokee relatives, all being exposed to uranium extractive industries, energy impacted communities, not government, not politicians, but community members. And that brings me to the concern I have on the DURAC. DURAC originally was created for the grassroots people. It wasn't created to be a buffer between the government Navajo Nation government and the people. I really would highly recommend that the plan of operation be amended or the commission be abolished and revitalize a really grassroots advisory committee regionally and use some of the citizen funds to help our people meet with one another. That's their money. All that money that's sitting in these banks belongs to our people. It doesn't belong to oversight committees. It belongs to the people first and foremost. So those are the recommendations I really highly recommend. The people are the experts in the community. I, I witnessed how US EPA comes meet in church hall. And the community has to correct them on the terrain. They had to have one of our um, young people that uh, Terry from the community. She was on the technical advisory committee for doing some of the preliminary work on building a bridge in that area that has those two mine ways. You got to remember, people are dying as we speak, and I think the people are sick and tired of being sick and tired. The doctrine of discovery is the reason why we are in this dominion framework of this federal government. And until our leaders feel strong in implementing the treaty, until our leaders and politicians are confident that they know their rights as indigenous people, my Yaj mentioned the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples of the United Nations. We need to use that. We need a large lawsuit. I recommend that the people of all these communities file a lawsuit against the Department of Energy and more importantly, Department of Defense. Because as we all know, all of our indigenous lands have, have been <coughs> under the military. We're still dealing with Fort Rocky. But those are some of the issues and concerns I have. And I know, all, I know some of you sitting up there. You've been involved in uranium issues. <coughs> you have uranium in your community. And I highly recommend that strong working group be established. I don't mind helping the communities around the Navajo Nation unite. We 
we can help them tonight and get their voices louder and stronger, just like our chief said. If our leaders can't do it, then it has to be the community members, right? It's always been that way. It's not the Appalachian Council. It's a foreign government. We try to infiltrate, like Dan has sold. He's an activist, a warrior, a leader. But once you get in that position, nothing changes. And I understand the bureaucracy. But like Mr. Ramsaw mentioned, you really have to turn up your volume. And I don't know where the Department of Justice is, but I've seen them here. You know, there's no justice in that department for our people. It's just a buffer. And doing this work for almost 40 years now, it's very frustrating that we have to do hearings and hearings and hearings. We appreciate it. But many of the people are tired. A lot of them are not even here because it was done really in a fast fashion. It should have been advertised. In the 80s, if this was announced, you know who would be here? Our Samis, our Chains, Hastui. They would be sitting in here. I went to those meetings in the 80s when they were going to do a, a, a they're going to relocate 10,000 Navajos from this area. We need louder and more stronger voices. And I'm so glad that we were going to have a meeting with Shadeja. I have hope in our women because of our babies being born with uranium in their bodies equivalent to a 30-year-old man, it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable that our waters are contaminated. A lot of you probably know me, and I've been raising hell for a long time. My own chapter had contaminated water at the water well in the chapter compound. OEH came in with Jodal, Rick Haskins. We met with the chapter officials. Guess what? They told us our water was contaminated with low-level radiation. But no, don't worry. It's not going to harm you. It's low-level. Excuse me, but bullshit. A lot of our relatives have stomach cancer. They hold water 40 years from that water source. Health studies is what we needed at every chapter. Every chapter. Death certificates from the people that died from cancer. Can you imagine how many thousands of death certificates we have to thank the uranium companies for that and the federal government? 1962, Navajo Nation Council passed a resolution to open up uranium mining. So here we are with this issue, and I just hope that we can rise and keep educating the politicians. Because when you look at $1 billion, that's $1 billion can only clean up Chirac mine waste. One million, one billion dollars for shiprock. Mine waste. Now you times that by 540 mines, we're talking about trillions and trillions of dollars that we need. Our grandmas went to D.C. 2007 Harry, Harvey Waxman heard testimonies from the grandmas. They're the ones that got funding for a five-year plan to get funding for the Navajo Birth Cohort Studies. It wasn't, no, it wasn't anybody from Windorock. 
I'll tell you that. And it seems that's what we got to do again, is go to Washington, D.C., camp there, meet with all those committees, and just FYI before I begin, Joe Biden has $3 trillion budget to revitalize the nuclear industry. So with that, I just hope that the holy people give us the strength and the fortitude to keep fighting again. Thank you. The next speaker is Dr. Donovan. And to you. Uh, last speaker, Mr. Ann Sam. 
you can. After that, I will have a tool of physics, which is stupid. I have seen this as a girl in my ears, a high risk of years. As an officer, 
summer, I've seen how the neighborhood of the Chief City. Every year I go in for a check, and I would love to hear Miss Sam was seen in five years. I would love to hear that, but I go back every year now. I've been going back every year for eight years, and maybe because of the exposure from my house station to the city. You know, it's happening. And when I was to Boston, and when I was to Al uh, Thompson, you know, who really cares if I can stand it? You know, it's so many cases in the You know. No, we, we're just, we're not even going to look at this. People in here, uh, they're probably talking, oh, you know, you yeah, have to get their hands. All the Mexicans, you know, but you are here. And our Native Americans are, da 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 da. You don't hear that. We're forgotten. And in the trees, we go back to the trees. And the only reason why we get trees is to take the land away, you know. And the only reason in 1923, you know, if you really think about it, that's when the minerals, you know, they took a piece of, they found minerals on a shishak area. And that's how it's spoken again. But really, we as Sudan, you guys as executive officials, you really need to start looking into it. And to me, when I see kids, when I see cancer patients, when I see cancer survivors, I've had two different forms of cancer. And I'm still dealing with it. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be very painless because of the exposure that I've had. Please, 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 look into it, study, do the chemicals, you know, study the chemicals. What I heard this morning with Mark, this afternoon with me, this morning I had a bad news this morning, so I can be very interested in everybody. But this is an issue that really needs to be seen. And I thank you for us as this council for now. I really appreciate you all being here. I appreciate me uh, having everybody here presenting to hear how it affects the human body. Yeah. I work as a nurse for 26 years. I had every minute of it. And prior to that, I was a cop. I've been a public servant for almost probably 40 years or so. And I've seen it, and I've observed. And please, don't let it be just talk. Don't let it be when I have some associate in this. No, we really need to think about the living, breathing, healing body. How is it changing? The new generation that's coming in is for the next generation. We need to teach them. We need to teach everybody about the perils of the radio. How it affects the body. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. If you can. Thank you.
That's what I think. What can the council do with the project? Or the gas stability? Or is a little hydraulic crack theory that you can't do this side of the issue? Oh, 
because they don't want to take responsibility. And every time I go to Washington, D.C. to lobby on your behalf, I'm always bringing it up with senators, representatives, that you're bringing it clean up. This is priority. Why is it not on our agenda? We need to move forward with this. You, you are our constituent as well. We can put you in a position. A good option for us and pushing this initiative forward. I've been doing my best to reach out to my community members in Portland, Wisconsin, Mexican water. I have a remaining line, a ended line, about two miles from my house. And I took a site, I have videos on my phone, I am in a documentary right now. You could drop a stone in that hill, and it goes all the way, it falls so long, and then you can hear it from the hit water. That drill, there are several drill sites in my area, and one story that I really shot close to me is that I have a constituent. They own 800 acres of land, and they said, you cannot live here anymore. We're putting a cell right there in your backyard. You're going to have to do it somewhere else. Imagine this inheritance to your grandmother, your grandfather, 800 acres, and then being forced to move away. And then, by the generosity of this family member, they were given only one acre to live on. And it says, yeah, we'll bring you to your house. You can find, we'll build you a nice new house. And that house already deteriorated because they built it with that contamination as well. So where is justice in that? That is something that we really need to fight for. And now I'm trying to do my best to educate the millennials, children of upcoming, my nieces, my nephews. This is what's happening. Be aware, read about it, study about it, take some interest and take some pride in this. And this is not something that's going to go away overnight. We heard a statistic trillions of dollars are cleaning. But we have every right to make that demand because that is our land. Everything within our area is our livelihood. So, with that, I've been going out. I've been seeing a lot of one on one correspondence with my constituents. How can I help you? And by some direction, they are like, so we really appreciate you coming forward. Because nobody of us took an interest in this. And some have pride to me. And to have dinner with them and then to see a grandmother crying, saying, I can't go back to my land. That is mine. And I can only see it at a distance. And that does not make me sad. It makes me angry. And, you know, I am doing my best, man. But I'm going to need the help of my colleagues and this is mom. And I really take the heart of your testimonies and statements. And I am very observant of who's out there, the body that I choose to see, who's really grasping my words and taking it in. So when I'm standing, I see some of the bodies bringing them out to God that it's going through. But keep in mind, and I can testify when I call the Hamilton Hills. They are the most scared individuals I have ever met in leadership. Question one with us, if that is a statement that I will stand by. And you know, that's where we're coming and supporting one another. We have to respect one another to do boost and support our leadership, to provide what we are lacking, and that's how we're going to progress forward. I can help it, which I have to see in the I can help it.
像这样的行业啊，其实关于这个需要就是你啊，都是属于这种行业，往往就是属于真正品牌企业啊，真正的品牌企业啊，利空啊，被双方商量的事情啊，啊，和甚至于外卖方的那个，可能有一些的话，那是属于比较资产的一个一个产业，哦，就是属于二手的，那那那那那是属于的这种。Another one, that we are quite very different than the uh, government term, major U.S.C. day, regional day. Uh, we had a very good friend discussion of a twenty-minute of Friday. What I heard and what I took away from that discussion continues on to today's discussion. You know, what I heard from the testimony and it, it kind of it gave me a race. What we spoke on on Friday. Chairman Sir, Chairman Sir, the the that was one of the huge topics that we discussed. And where are they? They're supposed to be leading the engineering or a physical or a entity. Where is that? Where is the problem? Is that coal or right now? Of the cleanup. The other one was the autonomous issue. Why the EPA is still continuing to hold on to the autonomous system and thinking that we do not have the capacity or the ability to conduct our own cleanup. Yet we're still holding on to that and giving them to others. So to reiterate that, the last big thing that took away from that discussion a Friday was the tenure, proposed tenure that uh, they gave to us as a presentation through the USCDA. She had sit on the basis of the development committee. And this tenure plan uh, has always been, I always had in the back of my mind, but I really, I really dissected it on Friday. I paid a lot of close attention to it, particularly each agency. Why is each of these not, not continuously mentioned that tenure plan? That was the question I asked the EPA. What about the Eastern side? You have a minor, very, very early thing to make. What about our side? We need some attention there too. That was the, the takeaway I asked Friday. So I really want to continue those discussions. Uh, and to continue to work, not to hammer, but to work with the USDA. They have a trust responsibility. They have an obligation to take care of these minds. So I think you need to hold to that order. And I think with your, with your understanding, with your prayers, with the, with the, you know, my colleague and the leadership to have here, we're willing to take that fight. I am. Sasha, I'm sorry, 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 I'll just take a look at how they did that and they were going to get out of here and I'll just take a look at how they did that and I'll just take a look at how they did that.
I wish you were sick. I wish I could say I'm reported normal. They were abnormal. And I got to talking to her, and I said, Shishan, hi, Shabbat. Where do you live? And she told me where she lived. And I said, well, because I'm also interested in genetics. I said, you know, you should have been ah, who are you, who are you, who are you, and I come into contact with it. Oh, you may be there. No, I don't know. She says, this is so many people. So, with what I go through, and what I have observed, it's nice that we're having public hearings. You, as an academic official, I have really encouraged you to sit down and look at the instrument health issues of these chemicals that are being brought forth. I come in, I used to be the operations section chief at IHS, and I have water bees. We did it on in an interoperative, and I know we can read it in the the radiations. You know, there's so much, uh, we as, uh, I guess, many people, we don't know about the body Please, 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 look into it, study, do the chemicals, 
you know, study the campus. What I heard this morning was a mark this afternoon at 3 30. This morning I had the diabetes in the morning. So I have a good chance to be here everyone. But this is an issue that I really need to be seen. And that I've been in the office this time for a while. I really appreciate you all being here. I appreciate you being on. Church 
Now, legislation was to start the transportation of green. And it was with the facility to take our But then it's two delegates that really opposed to it. The legislation failed. And Jonathan Perry was on, he was our advisor, Dan Simpson, and a lot of other delegates that really fought against it. The reason why I say this is because it can happen again. I understand the frustration that you are all are saying. And when I was sitting here this morning, I texted the president and said, President, you know, we're here in um, You know, and I'm only hearing a lot of remark when I said this just now. My point in saying this is, is that we're going to have to work with the Speaker of Council and to work with the President's office to get things moving for the constituents that we represent. And that's what I said to the President next. That's the only way we're going to move forward with your money. We as Council can make that challenge. We can do that. We can do another thing you got a couple more hearings. And I asked the speaker that we do a letter, friendly letter to the President Ed or Elijah, to say he needs to be here to listen to this. Imagine this, everyone. Imagine this. You know, we as a council have to stop fighting the two of us. President has to stop fighting the two You know, we're on our own, we're on our own world. Everyone has to call them on. This morning at the end, I told the president, you know, we, you know, I'm on a prayer to say, be with everyone, protect all of us. President Nez, his wife needs to put his right down, Speaker needs to put his right down, and us council have to put our right down. And we just imagine if we work together, we could show a strong force for our leaders in D.C. Congress, you know, they need to be aware of this. The President of the United States, where could it be? Trump, Biden, Trump, where could it be? We have to start working together. It's the, the fine line. And so, you know, I just wanted to, to, to share that. In the meantime, we will continue to do legislation. But our Congress people and the nation, we need to step up. Especially on the other on my side, that, you know, because I represent a trade crop, Pine Bay. You know, the really effective areas, as well as the college, they have effective areas too, as well. So, I'll do the best I can, my colleagues, to get the president. And then, you know, I was even thinking of this, everyone. We were thinking of just dropping a legislation just to pretty much like subpoena the council and subpoena the president, vice president, to who sit at the table. I know the council will pass it. Is this really not that? But look at what happened here for years. Of the three and the cops. I do agree with you. Enough is enough. Maybe this is what needs to be done to get things moving forward. But in the meantime, our colleagues should keep up in their prayer. In the meantime, our colleagues should keep up in their prayer. And we'll continue, you know, to fight and And so, um, you know, Speaker, that's why I want to share. I'm not here to make people mad, you know, or angry at me. Trust me, I don't have a lot of people angry at me now. But we just got to move forward and work together. And like I said, Speaker, and my colleagues, I'll text the President and, and, and tell him, you know, we gotta, we got to work together to get this whole uranium issue moving ahead. And, and whoever's going to be our next congressional people, up in Washington. And like President Trump. You know, he gave a little light. Like, you know, he secured billions and millions of dollars for the law. 
Just imagine what we can do for the cleanup of the President Trump. We have the press there. You know, I mean, I don't know if you can quote me, I'm going to ask you. But we invite Trump to invest money for the cleanup of the uranium. Hopefully that's no secret to the but I don't, I don't know if the press is going to make that statement. So, our prayers are to stay strong and move forward, colleagues. And Speaker, I'll stop here, and I appreciate the council for doing this uh, uh, public hearing, and until then, we'll just keep moving forward. Speaker, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Chairman, I'm going to Thank you. 
years, she's been living with it. Suffering day by day in that diagnosis, which is a word of looking for it, and I never checked into it. A quote, in 2007, she passed away. We did not get this thorough, um, clear answer from the doctors until 2016. A quote, may have been on such a big head, so I didn't need it. Is that she should be awesome. And they both kind of went on uh, show on. There's no rain everywhere. And I grew up with it. And I enjoyed it. A quote, a bit of an I'm thinking about the young constituents. He questioned it and then he got to see. She has, it felt so refreshing for her to see great right things and push forward. I went to Phoenix a couple of weeks ago. I met a Democratic Party committee. And I had a close friend that I graduated college and she was an aide to Elizabeth Warren. And she reached out to me and she said, Can you endorse Elizabeth Warren? We need your support. We need that Native American voice and support. And I asked her, What is Elizabeth Warren's platform in helping Native Americans, specifically Navajos, because we are the largest tribe? She did not have this response. She said, well, we are open to dialogue. We can discuss what we can do for future help to Navajos. And I said, I'm not going to endorse you on my best. I'm not going to do any early voting, anything acceptable there. Because I am waiting to hear from a presidential candidate to say, this is what I'm going to do for the Native Americans. We have caused so much destruction against them. Their children's education is at stake. The lives, the livelihood, what's taken away from their grandparents or ancestors. We're talking about the livestock reduction. And then it leading to chemical hazardous deterioration of generations to follow. And I had enough of that. And I told her, until one candidate can say, I am very sorry, truly, this is in my plan. This is the first step I'm going to take. I will wholeheartedly endorse that candidate. And it's becoming so controversial now because they don't want to take responsibility. And every time I go to Washington, D.C. to lobby on your behalf, I'm always bringing it up with senators, representatives, that you're bringing clean up. This is priority. Why isn't it not on your agenda? We need to move forward with this. You, you are our constituent as well. We can put you in a position. It could up, Jennifer Hudson, and pushing this initiative forward. I've been doing my best to reach out to my community members in Portland, Wisconsin, Mexican water. I have an Iranian mine, an Indian mine, about two miles from my house. And I took a site, I have videos on my own, I am making a documentary right now. You could drop a stone in that drill, and it goes all the way, it falls so long. And then you can hear it when I hit water. That drill, there are several drill sites in my area. And one story that I really struck close to me is that I have a constituent. They own 800 acres of land. And they said, you cannot live here anymore. We're putting a cell right there in your backyard. You're going to have to do it somewhere else. Imagine. This inheritance, your grandmother, your grandfather, 800 acres, and then being forced to move away. And then, by the generosity of this family member, they were given only one acre to live on. And it says, Yeah, I will bring you to a house. You can find, we'll build you a nice new house. And that house is already deteriorated because they built it with that contamination as well. So, where is justice in that? 
that is something that we really need to fight for. And now I'm trying to do my best to educate the millennials, children of the country, my nieces, my nephews. This is what's happening. Be aware, read about it, study about it, take some interest, take some pride in this. And this is not something that's going to go away overnight. We heard a statistic trillions of dollars for cleanup. But we have every right to make that demand. Because that is our land. Everything that we're not getting away is our livelihood. So, with that, I've been going out. I've been seeing a lot of one on one correspondence with my constituents. How can I help you? And by some direction, they are like, so we really appreciate you coming forward. Because nobody of us took an interest in this. And some of that applied to me, and to have dinner with them, and then to see a grandmother crying, saying, I can't go back to my land, that is mine, and I can only see it at a distance. And that does not make me sad, it makes me angry. And, you know, I'm doing my best, man, but I'm going to need the help of my colleagues. And I really take the heart of your testimonies and statements. And I am very observant of who's out there, the body that I choose to see, who's really grasping my words and taking it in. So when I'm standing, I see some of the bodies bringing out people to God that's going through us. But keep in mind, and I have to testify on my call. We have one of those. They are the most caring individuals I have ever met in leadership. Question one with us. That is a statement that I will stand by. And you know, that's where we're coming in supporting one another. We have to respect one another to boost and support our leadership to provide what we are lacking, and that's how we're going to progress forward. If it's not going to be a chance to see you there, I can hang on. Yeah, I sit on the resources development committee. 
And this 10 year plan has always been, I always had in the back of my mind, but I really, I really got to say on Friday, I paid a lot of close attention to it. Particularly, each of the AAC. Why is each of the AAC not, not continuously mentioned that 10 year plan? That was just a question I asked the EPA. What about the Asian side? You have a mind very, very early in the system. What about our side? We need some attention there too. That was the, the takeaway I asked Friday. So I really want to continue those discussions uh, and to continue to work, not to hammer, but to work with the USDA. They have a trust responsibility. They have an obligation to take care of these minds. So I think you can get a hold to that order. And I think with your with your understanding, with your prayers, with the with the you know my colleagues and the leadership that you have here, we're willing to take that fight. I am. 